Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello dear friends Welcome back with me Raisha Aprilia In podcast Manu TV Sawah Lunto Here we are Ikonyo So guys Today we have a special guest Who will give us her knowledge Her name is Kaya Dickinson And she is from England She is a student of ecology and conservation From Sussex University Okay Before we start Let's greet our special guest today hi kaya hello how are you doing uh i'm great what about you i'm doing amazing thank you for having me okay all right kaya we have a question for you that that you might tell us to the camera right Mm -hmm. yeah okay kaya i really want to know what is climate change and why is it a problem so climate change is the long-term change in temperature and weather patterns caused primarily by human activity, which increases uh, greenhouse gas emissions. Greenhouse gases are gases such as carbon dioxide and methane, and they actually create a thick blanket around the uh, surface of the Earth, which doesn't allow for the sun's radiation to escape, right? So normally the sun's radiation, it comes, it bounces off the Earth and it bounces back off into space. But as we increase our greenhouse gas emissions, It creates this layer which traps in all of the heat and the the sun's radiation. It can't escape the same as it used to, so it slowly heats up the uh, the planet. And this is a this is a big problem because it leads to very extreme weather conditions such as a drought, uh, forest fires, and uh, like really intense storms. Uh, it also disrupts the natural ecosystems, causing you know, species to go extinct and like the ecosystem starts to collapse. And of course it has bad implications for the human health. So the the quality of the air that we breathe, it uh, makes us more susceptible to famine and water shortages and the spread of disease might increase. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. Uh, you are... You are totally right, Kaya. Uh, do you know that that uh, that recently uh, there is ha- there is have been f- forest fire in uh, in in my place, mm. and it's really butter us. Mm. Okay, the next question is: What would we do to to increase the awareness of people in terms of our future? Mm-hmm. I think really we have a duty to educate uh, ourselves and inform ourselves and. Uh, Uh, our friends and our family about the consequences of our actions. Uh, we need to start making the link between how what we do is affecting us. For example, throwing our trash on the floor, how this is ultimately going to impact our health and the, the, the health of our children. You know, we have um, our children and our grandchildren. They're not going to be able to live in a clean planet mm-hmm. if we keep doing what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's it's estimated that by 2035, the, uh, the effects of climate change will be completely irreversible and we won't be able to come back from the destruction that we've caused to the planet. Um, I have also a fact that uh, roughly between 150 and 200 species are going extinct every single day, which is obviously quite disastrous. So we need to spread awareness about the the, the use of uh, the plastic as well. And we need to just be conscious about uh, our energy consumption and our water consumption. And yeah, this plastic is a, it's a massive problem because plastic doesn't actually disintegrate ever. For example, one plastic bottle will take 400 years roughly oh. to disappear but it doesn't actually disappear it just breaks down into smaller and smaller and smaller yeah. pieces called microplastics and these microplastics have completely contaminated our planet so plastic was only invented 150 years ago which is relatively not that long ago but it's already completely contaminated our planet from the deepest parts of the ocean to like the outer parts of our atmosphere this plastic is everywhere In fact, a pregnant mother yes. will have plastic inside the blood of the unborn baby oh. because what we're consuming, the fish, the meat, the water oh. that we're consuming, it all contains these tiny little fragments of microplastics, mm-hmm. which can ultimately damage our DNA. Oh, 
Okay. So yeah. Uh, well, I think it's not just uh, responsible for as for a student or for a teacher, but it's also for the all of the uh, all the human on on, on this earth. Uh, so, uh, the climate change is really, really, really bother us. So, mm -hmm. what can we do to help mitigate the the effect of climate change? I would say ultimately we just need to become more conscious of our of our general use of resources like water, electricity, plastic. We have um we have a saying like reduce, reuse, repair, recycle. So this is like reducing our consumption, reusing what we can, you know, if something breaks, don't just buy a new one, you know, try and think, how can I fix this? You know, uh, and recycling, of course, you know, sorting our, our waste, uh, the plastic, if we put it into a recycling box, then it will be reused. It can be melted and it can be repurposed. And um, these are important things. We can also try and not to use so much uh, our vehicles that are releasing carbon dioxide. For example, if, if you need to go to the shop and it's just like a short distance away, maybe you can walk or use a bicycle. But um, it's true that if just one person is doing this, it's not going to make much difference. You know, it's we need to collectively do this together and yeah, make a change overall oh. as a whole. Uh, it's correctly. Okay, guys, from our conversation, we can conclude four important things. The first is reduce plastic, and the second one is more conscious of our lifestyle. And and for example, like walking for short distance, and the third is using reusable bags, and the fourth is avoiding single-use plastic. Okay, guys, so this is the last of our conversation today, and I really want to say thank you for Kaya and for your time and for your knowledge thank you for having me yeah save, save the, the earth save, save our future. future with me Reisha Aprilia in podcast Manu TV so runto here we are ikonyo assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh